Hey traders from around the world, this is Jeremy Alexander Newsom with Of Course Real Life Trading. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. It is Monday, which is May the 4th, tomorrow being Cinco de Mayo, the 5th of May. So I hope you guys have some good plans for that. Uh, thanks all to everyone who sent me a birthday wish or a congratulatory statement over the weekend. You guys are really just so, so nice. I truly do appreciate that. Uh, there's six human needs in the world. Love and connection is one of those, and that's definitely one of my needs, and I figured you guys figured that out <laughs> somehow. <laughs> so thank you for the love and for the um, just the support in general. You guys absolutely rock. Had a great weekend. Thank you so much. Excited about May. Uh, I'm actually leaving for St. Louis tomorrow, and I am doing a presentation there Uh on Tuesday called How to Protect Your Investments Over Earnings. And I'll be uh, giving that to the American Association of Individual Investors. That's uh, chapter, the St. Louis chapter. That's what I'm meeting at on tomorrow. Well, on Tuesday, tomorrow. So that's going to be super, super pumped about that. Uh, let's check out the market in general really quick. And the DIA was up a little bit this morning and still kind of up from the gap. Uh, but we're still making the higher lows. We're still making lower highs. We're still trading sideways. And until we break st uh, strongly bullish, I'm just going to kind of sit back, chill, relax, and that's really about it. See what else happens from here. So still got the uh, longer term bull put spread down here expiring in two weeks. That should be fine. Here's the SPY. SPY, we also considered last week the 200, 199 June week one. So that's way down here. It's also a bull put spread. Again, hoping and considering that the stock will break out bullish and we'll make higher highs and just kind of go from there. And if we do break out sometime this week, by the retest of that breakout, especially with a white candle, white candle, you know, the retest gaps, probably get another cycle down, probably do something like this and then break out. So I'll keep a close eye on that overall for sure. QQQs. Now the Qs, we had a nice little new white soldier yesterday, making a little bit of a higher high and a higher low today. Um, I do kind of still think we're going to do something like this before going higher. So one little small rotation down on the general market, but you know we'll figure that out. And the IWM uh, today forms a morning star reversal pattern. So if we make a higher high on Tuesday, we'll complete that nice little morning star off of the old resistance, which is the previous all-time high. So something to keep an eye on for sure. Let's look at some of the big names. Apple, gorgeous candle on Friday, and today uh, we did gap up, and I do think, uh, again, just in relation to what the market's doing, I think Apple will also have a smaller pullback of some kind, maybe back to the 50, maybe even as far down as 120, still not entirely sure on that, uh, but it will probably have a little bit more of a pullback at some point. Again, if it does pull back to the 100 simple moving average, I think that'd be a great place to buy. But with the candles and with the volume that did come in, I think that there's a lot of selling pressure. I think anyone who did not sell is going to be looking to sell, and we're going to get a little bit more of a rotation down. And then I'll be looking to buy on Apple. But I'm not massively bearish by any means. Facebook, still chilling up here. Uh, Johnny Howlett had a covered call. I expired last uh, Friday, so we'll probably have him do another one very, very soon. But as of right now, Facebook... Very, very strong support at the 200 simple moving average, guys. Um, I can agree and I can see exactly what you guys are seeing. This does look like a double top to me. Broke the neckline and now we're kind of you know chilling out here. And if we start making some lower moves, the 200 is a great buying location. We haven't hit the 200 since 2013. But if we break that 200 simple moving average, very, very huge chance we come back down to the $73-esque range and then probably bounce because we are kind of in a channel on Facebook, been making higher highs, higher lows. Um, I'm interested to see how we interact with the support level right around the 200 simple moving average. And if we bounce and do something like this, that would not shock me uh, in the slightest. Fire Eye Network, F-E-Y-E. I uh, had an interesting little candle today. So, you know, earnings is over. It's done with. Now we're forming a bigger triangle pattern. Again, kind of like the market. Probably trade sideways into May and then looking for uh, on fire eye and as well as the market in general kind of a pop out probably in late May, June sometime. Twitter with its bearish, very, very bearish outlook on earnings and the gap and the, the leaking of earnings. Uh, we've been pretty bearish on Twitter for a little bit. So at this moment, I'm just trying to figure out where do we bounce, right? Do we bounce at 35? Do we bounce at 30? Those are locations I'll be keeping an eye on to see if we can buy low, sell high, because Twitter absolutely has been ha had some bearish activity and uh, just going to be keeping a close eye on it. We're going to get a few more black candles, likely making a little bit of a lower low, maybe something like this. Um, I'm not, again, th I don't think Twitter is going to go to zero, but I'm just looking for the support in which it does bounce. And probably 30 will be more than likely uh, the one it trades to. Let's look at two more. Tesla. 
Nice little candle today, guys. Earnings are coming up right around the corner. So absolutely without question, keep your eyes on it. Um, exit the bull pit spread last Friday. Uh, I'm sorry, actually Thursday, last Thursday. Ulet, I believe, still has her June call holding over earnings. Stan, he had the uh, 175 uh, 175, 177, 50 bull put spread that expired last Friday. Stan, great job. Looks like we're getting a little bit of a flag pattern off the 200 simple. Let's see what earnings does, guys. I think earnings uh, might gap up. We got some great volume, beautiful wave rotation in here, and uh, 260 would be my ultimate target on earnings if it does in fact play out that way. And last but not least, there's a lot of news about the CEO and chatter on McDonald's today. McDonald's, the only trade we have on McDonald's, since in my opinion, it is pretty intrinsically sideways on all time frames. We did a bull put spread because it's trading sideways. 94.93 bull put spread. That's expiring this Friday. That was a 12% ROI for, um, well, we did this on, on the 22nd of April, this analysis. So keeping a close eye on it, I like today's candle. You know, it's a nice little white candle and a little bit of a gap down, but you still got the strong support from the long-term moving averages. You do got some lower highs, but I think this bull put spread will be just fine until uh, expiration this Friday. So I'll be keeping a close eye on that. Huge chance that I'll be broadcasting and doing the stock review Wednesday from St. Louis. That'll be fun. I'm super pumped about it. But friends and family and traders from around the world, if you have any questions or anything at all, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, and until then, remember, love life, live life, and trade it.